everybody, it's Michelle here again with I'm a Mommy, and it's a Tuesday. I hope you guys had a wonderful Labor Day yesterday. We kind of just took it easy. We didn't go anywhere, do anything. We just kind of hung out together as a family, and it was pretty fun. So hope you guys had a good little vacation. I touch my hair all the time. I'm sorry, I need to stop doing that. Anyway, so I thought I would do a video today about how you can stay comfortable during your pregnancy. And I have so many items here that I have like laid out in front of me so I can just hurry up and grab it and show you guys. So I know that that was something that was really hard for me when I was pregnant was I was just so big, so sweaty, so uncomfortable, and I wanted everything that I could possibly purchase or find out or read or whatever to be comfortable during my pregnancy. So here are just some tips. If you guys have more tips, please let me know below because I want to get pregnant again someday. So I want to hear about what you guys do to... Um, relax and to feel comfortable. So the first thing that you need to do to stay comfortable, I think, is kind of just stay in tune with what is happening with your body. I had an amazing sister give all these books to me because her roommate gave them to her. And there are so many pregnancy books out there. And this is a great one, your pregnancy week by week. I like this one. But this is the most popular one probably, what to expect when you're expecting. And it's just kind of nice because you can kind of just see what's going on with your body, kind of figure out if this is right, if this is wrong, that sort of thing. So definitely keep yourself educated when you're trying to stay comfortable just so you know what's going on with your body and therefore you can kind of understand what's going on. The very first thing that my husband purchased for me when I was pregnant were these belly bands. This one's called B-Band. I'll show it to you. This is a white one. My husband got me a black one and a white one. This one has stains all over it. But this is kind of this stretchy material. So this is before you get pregnancy pants. <coughs> my goodness, I have something in my throat. I think it's an Oreo. <coughs> ah, anyway, my goodness. Okay, so these are great because if you don't, I sound like I'm a frog right now. <coughs> Uh, okay, these are great if you don't want to go out and buy uh, pregnancy pants yet and you're still kind of small. If you can't button up the button on your pants, you can use this and you, I did it twice over like this, like I folded it over twice like this, so it's smaller. But you put it around your waist and this will keep your pants on you, but it will give you that breathing room. And of course, once you actually start showing, you're going to need to get pregnancy pants. And one thing that's really great about Utah is we have Forever 21 maternity. I know not every state does, but these are my favorite pair of jeans my entire pregnancy because I don't like the full panel over the belly thing. So these dark skinny jeans were $13.80. Just nice little skinny jeans, dark wash, and it just has this band right here on the bottom. But I think I wore these every single day. And when I wasn't wearing my dark skinny jeans, I was wearing these same thing from Forever 21, just leggings, black leggings. I think leggings are a pregnant woman's best friend, <laughs> seriously. I also purchased a pair of jeans from Motherhood Maternity, the Heidi Klum brand, and they were like $40 and they were comfortable as well. So I really liked that. I think another good thing is to help you stay comfortable during your pregnancy is to feel cute. And I don't mean to sound vain or anything like that, but a cardigan is also a pregnant woman's best friend. You can like mix and match and put different shirts underneath, that sort of thing. So getting comfortable pants and comfortable shirts are definitely key. And you can do, I'm gonna do a video about like where you can find good maternity clothes, but that's just kind of the basics right there. Towards the end of my pregnancy, my feet could not fit into anything and it was winter time, so I could, there was no way that I was ever going to fit my feet into my boots or my legs because they were so huge and so swollen so my husband took me to get some shoes and I bought Tom's and these are also a pregnant woman's best friend so much space so much room nice and comfortable I didn't even care if these matched anything that I was wearing but they were great so definitely get yourself some comfortable shoes something else that kept me sane so that I could maintain my comfort was doing pregnancy yoga and there are so many great things out there. I bought this online. This is prenatal and postnatal yoga, but also exercising, you guys. Exercising is so important. I worked out until 
probably the week before I had my son and I heard that it's really good to work out because it helps you during labor so you have like good endurance but also after the baby so you can lose your baby weight faster and this one had amazing reviews online so I bought it but it's by Erin O'Brien and it's prenatal and postnatal and she is great she's like I think seven months pregnant in this video so it kind of makes you feel like oh I'm winded but she's winded too and she even takes like pee breaks because you always have to pee when you're pregnant but you guys this is amazing it has like two DVDs that come with it and I definitely this is like something that saved me during my pregnancy I did this and I would always do the elliptical and go on walks and that really helped a lot something else that bothered me during my pregnancy were my stretch marks I didn't get a ton but I got some like on my side and they were always always itchy and I you know have heard that stretch mark cream doesn't work and I don't think it does either but this was just good moisturizing it says massage lo lotion for stretch marks and so I would just put it on there because it's kind of itchy and I also had like a Burt's Bees it came in like a big round tin like this and it was just like a wax that I would put and it was just like all natural and I'd put it on um, my stretch marks whatever was kind of like itching me and that helped me stay a lot more comfortable so just moisturize your stretch marks or your skin or whatever and that will help you feel a lot more comfortable because you can kind of get uncomfortable when you're pregnant. Okay, and the very last thing, I love how the lighting like just randomly changes while I'm filming. My husband bought me this body pillow. It's huge. I would sleep with this because I was so uncomfortable and I was so huge and so I would like wrap my legs around it and just like cuddle with it and I know they have like some pretty intense pregnancy pillows that are like these crazy shapes that sort of thing but we just got this from Costco actually my mom bought this for me my mom always buys me things but it helped me sleep so much better so I know that this video is kind of all over the place but you guys should see all this stuff like all over right now. I have so many random things. I hope this video gave you guys some ideas of what you can do to kind of ease the pain of being pregnant and being uncomfortable. I loved taking baths. Baths were amazing and I love to bake which is kind of bad and that's probably why I gained so much weight because I baked all the time for people. But you are creating a human so you're going to be uncomfortable and just know that you can get through it, you will get through it, and it's going to be so rewarding. And you're going to want to do it all over again, even though you don't think you will want to. Because I know I'm like, I'm ready for a baby. I'm ready for another one. Will's getting old. So that's my video for today. Comment below, you guys, and let me know some of the tricks that you have used that have helped you feel more comfortable during your pregnancy. As always, you can email me if you have any questions about any of the products that I mentioned. I'm going to try to list below some of the things that I talked about today. I'll put it also on my blog, I'm a mommy of one.blogspot.com, and you can email me as always, like I say every single time at the end of my videos, at I am a mommy of one. Dot, oh my goodness, I am so out of it today. I am a mommy of one at gmail.com. So I hope you guys have a wonderful Tuesday. I know it's kind of hard getting back into the groove of things after a three-day weekend, but I love you guys and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.